Since making his debut back in 2019, Jordan Alvarez has been one of the best power hitters in the game. And it really seems like the guy gets no recognition. Now back in 2019, Alvarez was one of Houston's top prospects and at the midseason point, his call up to the big leagues seemed imminent. Up to this point at AAA Round Rock, in 56 games, Alvarez was hitting 343 with 23 bombs and he drove in 71 to go along with an 1184 OPS. So it was clear he was ready for the big leagues. And in his rookie season, he did not disappoint. He played in 87 games where he hit 313, had 27 home runs, drove in 78 with a 1067 OPS, and he won the Rookie of the Year award in the American League. And at this point in time, it was clear Alvarez was one of the brightest young stars in the game, which led up to massive expectations heading into the 2020 season. But unfortunately for Alvarez, he had a knee injury which limited him to only two games. And this injury-riddled season, in my opinion, really put Alvarez under the radar. People seem to forget just how good this guy was in his 2019 debut season, and coming into 2021, there was some doubts. With Alvarez standing at 6'5 and being 225 pounds, a knee injury was something that was expected to limit him heavily. Now, up to this point, Alvarez was a DH, and he wouldn't have to use his legs as much as other players, but with someone as big as him, you still just don't like to see the knee injury that early in the career. So heading into the 2021 season, expectations were down for Alvarez as people were unsure of whether he would be able to play the full season. People thought this knee injury would linger and he would be on and off the field all year. Fast forward to present day and Alvarez has proved all these doubters wrong. This season, he played in 144 games where he hit 277, had 33 bombs, drove in 104 runs, and had an 877 OPS. And I'm not going to say the knee injury is past him at this point because that seems to be something that is going to linger with him throughout his career. Um, with a, such a bad knee injury that early in your career, being as big as Alvarez is, I wouldn't doubt that this injury still lingers him to this day. But he has proven that he can be productive and be an all-star caliber player with this lingering injury. And that just makes his 2021 season even more impressive. And in a very small sample size this year in the postseason, Alvarez has shown up. In the Astros' two wins in the ALDS this year, Alvarez has gone 3-for-5 with a home run and three RBIs. And up to this point in his career, Jordan Alvarez seems to be a pretty clutch hitter as back in the 2019 World Series in 17 at-bats, he hit 4-12 with a home run. So this guy is clearly one of the better power hitters in the game up to this point in his career. Other than an injury-riddled 2020 season, Alvarez has put together two very good seasons. And up to this point in his career, he has some ridiculous 162 game averages. Those 162 game averages look a little like a 290 average, 42 home runs, 129 runs driven in, and a 948 OPS. And those offensive averages of 42 home runs and 129 RBIs warrant MVP consideration. Those are legit MVP numbers, and Jordan Alvarez doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Now, I know those are MVP numbers, and Alvarez might not get considered for the MVP because he is a DH and he's so limited defensively, but those offensive numbers are up there with the best of them. And as Alvarez gets used to the big leagues and gets even more experience in the postseason, I think he's going to be just as good, if not a better offensive hitter going forward. So in my eyes, this guy is one of the better offensive talents in the game, and he doesn't get the recognition that he deserves. And I think a huge reason why he doesn't get this recognition is because of that knee injury in 2020. People were really doubting him this year, didn't think he would play a full season or be healthy all year long. And that really may not be the case. He may have been battling this injury all year long, but the fact that he still produced really shows what type of player he is. Jordan Alvarez is one of the most lethal offensive weapons up to this point in his career, and I think it's time we start treating him like it. All right, so that is going to wrap today's video up. Wanted to give some thoughts here on Jordan Alvarez as he's just one of the better power hitters in the game, and I just feel like no one really recognizes him. But anyways, if you guys do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. Going to be posting plenty of baseball content going forward. And as always, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.